What's going on everybody? Chris here from Ginger Ninja Racing. I am the Ginger Ninja. Um, <laughs> basically, I figured I'd start doing a series on some how-to stuff on how to do things in iRacing. Um, there are some things that are a little intricate, a little bit hard to figure out unless you have a video to help you. And if this helps somebody, I did... If it even helps one person, I did what I meant to do. So basically, I'm going to start off with open setups and how to get them into your settings. Um, it's not complicated, but it was hard to figure out at first for me, and hopefully this helps somebody. You have to choose a setup shop or shops of choice. There are a ton of them out there. Tons of them. They're spreading like wildfire. I work with two different ones for two different styles of racing. One is for NASCAR, which is Storm Sim Performance, which is what you see on my screen. They do NASCAR stuff, and they're venturing into road stuff. They're still very new. They used to build uh, for a very big, well-known builder out there. They went on their own. Uh, William Hale owns it. He's been a longtime friend of mine. Uh, known him from, through local racing around the Nashville area for a long time. Uh, then secondly, up on my screen, is Team 53. Uh, they do short track stuff, asphalt short track stuff. There's also M9 Performance. That's the other part of this website. They do the dirt stuff. If you're a dirt guy, check them out. Um, personally, I'm not a dirt guy. So back over here to Storm Sim Performance for their website as the example. Uh, basically, you go on their website. You can scroll down here. And you can see what they have available. Uh, I'm going to choose the Xfinity Rockingham setup. You click on it. You click Add to Cart. Check out. Fill out all your info. Pay now. And then you get paid. And they will email you the zip file. Simple as that. That's just part one of it, though. All right. So let's say you got your file sent to you through email. And you click download. Now what do you do? You basically you go down here to your downloads folder. Over here on the left, you can click on downloads. There's Storm Xfinity Rockingham Season 24, Season 1. Simple as that. It is a zip file. So here is what I personally do. I click extract all. Hit browse. And I have a, uh, this is my folder I use for my racing stuff. I have a setup folder. I go in here to Storm. And it extracts into Storm. Extract. So here is my Storm setups that I've gotten downloaded so far. They're not in iRacing yet. That's this next part. So now that I have two file windows open, I go iRacing. This will pull your iRacing folder up. This is all your folders for iRacing. So you see setups right here. You got to click on setups. Double click on it. This is all the cars in iRacing. So I go down here. I find the car that I'm running. So for me... It's the Supra 2019 right here. Click on it. See, I've got a bunch of old McConey setups when I used to buy from McConey. I've got a Passing Under Yellow Atlanta setup. And I got a Chicagoland setups. So here's what I do. Is I open this fo folder. There's the qualifying setup. There's the racing setup. I copy. Control C. And then Control V. And there is them inside of the game. And I will show you that here in a second. And I want to clarify on why I do it this way. You could extract straight from the download into the game folder. I have it set up like this so I have a backup just in case iRacing crashes or something. And I have to delete iRacing and re-download it. Because when you do that, you'll lose all your setups. I do it as a backup. That way I have them in two spots just in case. All right. So you are now loaded up into your session to go practice, to go qualify, go race, test drive, whatever. 
We are here at Rockingham in the Xfinity car in my Toyota Super that I have and Feltech because it has the old setup from Chicagoland in it. Real simple to fix that. You click on Garage right here. So the iRacing setups is the factory iRacing setups that come with iRacing. Those are the fixed setups. Shared setups or if you're in an open session and somebody shares a setup with you, which I do not recommend sharing setups, um, especially if you're buying from a setup shop, it is strictly against the rules. Uh, and then my setups, which these are, these are setups that you have in your folder. So click on my setups. So this is all my Xfinity setups, which if you look, if you look side by side, PUI Atlanta, PUI Atlanta, Storm Chicagoland, Storm Chicagoland, Storm Rockingham, Storm Rockingham. Simple as that. Boom. It is in there. So let's say I'm going to download, I'm going to open up the qualifying setup. Keep in mind, qualifying setup is good for two laps. Always make sure you change the race setup for the race. You click it. It downloads identical to Storm Xfinity Rockingham 24 Season 1 Q. Q means qualifying. R means race. All right. So you see in the bottom right-hand corner it says passed. It means you passed tech. Click done. Click test. And it'll load into the session. Easy as that. Let's roll, brother. So I hope this was helpful on teaching you how to get your open setup into iRacing. Like I said, not exactly the easiest, but it's not exactly the hardest. I did it the way I do it, so I have a backup always, always, always. Not everybody's going to do it that way. Like I said, you could extract from the download straight into the, into the game file and do it that way, and you may be okay. I prefer to have a backup. I'll see y'all later. Click like. Follow me. I'll be doing more of these. I appreciate you. See you later.